Time now, 9.48 on this Saturday morning. It is time for Imagine It. Um, if you're eating breakfast, I'm going to stop just for a brief moment, right? Science oh, experiment no. time. This is really cool. Okay. So I, I brought in some cow eyes today. Mm. Okay, so mm -hmm. we're actually going to, um, this is what a cow eye sort of comes with, lots of connective tissue here. <laughs> and um, earlier I uh, removed some of that tissue and we get down to just sort of the eye itself uh -huh. with the optic nerve. Oh. Okay. This is the thing that, the, basically the cable that sends the information to your brain. Okay. Now we're going to dig in a little bit deeper here, right? Actually, you are. And um, we're going to see actually what's inside the eye. So go ahead and take those scissors. Okay. I've done most of the work for you. Okay. All you need to do is put the scissors in sideways and sort of make a little snip. Make a little snip. Okay. Just, just oh, man. All right, there we go. Okay. You, got it. you got it. All right, you can put the scissors down. All right. So let me give this to you here. Just, oh, I get to hold the you get, eyeball. You get to hold the eyeball. Mm -hmm. Okay, so inside there, um, you can see that uh, we have this like jelly like stuff. Why don't you go ahead and scoop that out onto the plate? <laughs> just go ahead and scoop it out. Oh, Carl. So, that's called the vitreous humor. That's the, the liquid that's inside the eye. Okay, and what you actually scooped out right there mm -hmm. was the vitreous humor and slippery, and the eye, the lens of the eye. All okay. Right? Uh -huh. Now this this is a preserved eye. Okay, so the lens is kind of cloudy, and a normal eye would be totally clear. All right, and so that's what focuses the light back to the retina, which you have right here. If stick your finger in there and squish that soft tissue around. The oh, it's very oh, spongy. Scoop it, scoop it right out. S scoop. scoop it. Okay. Get kind of hard with it there. Mm -hmm. There you go. So that is actually the tissue that has the rods and cones that allows you to see, okay? That's okay. It. That is the retina on your fingertip right there. Oh. And the shiny stuff on the back is actually called the tapetum. So cows if, or cats and other animals, mm -hmm. if you shine a light at them, you get that sort of like glow that comes back. That's a reflective layer that shoots the light back through the rods and cones and allows them to see better at night. It kind of looks like a pearl a little bit in there. It does. It looks like kind a little opal. shiny okay. opalescent. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And so you can put that down now. And so, okay. um, in the front part of that eye, mm -hmm. let me give you this here. This is actually the iris of the, uh, the eyeball. It's the thing that makes the pupil, gets larger and smaller. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a muscle to constrict the light in, in and out of the eye. And so these are cow eyes, which are about the same size as a human eye, okay? And this is- They look is, so much bigger, okay. Well, they, they, they're a little bit bigger, but go ahead and give that a poke. This is actually the cornea. If you imagine a cow out in the field, mm -hmm. um, munching on grass, you need the cornea to be sort of tough because you got blades of grass sort sure. of poking at your, at your eye. Um, and this is sort of an, a workshop that we do with visitors at the Science Center. They can sign up and do an eyeball dissection and learn all about the eye. We did, okay. delve in a little bit deeper than what we did here. Okay. Did a quick overview, but um, it's really cool, really powerful learning experience to actually take something like this to apart. To take it apart and, and everything. see how all the parts connect So you're together. doing a little bit of biology down there too, a little huh? little biology. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. So um, if you were interested while you were eating your cereal this morning, there you have it. The inside <laughs> of a cow eye, everyone, that I have touched with my hands. Thanks, Carl, for giving me gloves this time. No That's problem, good. No all problem. right. Well, there are a lot of activities going on down at the Imagination Station besides um, cow eyeball dissection. They also have the Mind Bender Mansion, right? Tell us about that. Brand new exhibit that's yeah. opening up all about problem solving, puzzles, brain teasers, 40 individual exhibits, five group activities. It's really cool. You want to come down and check it out. I heard about this one and that definitely sparks my interest. Maybe a little bit more than the cow eyeball is still interesting, <laughs> but Mind Bender Mansion opens today. They're opened out at the Imagination Station today from 10 to 5 and as Carl mentioned, 40 different brain teasers cool day for the whole family out there, absolutely, right? Absolutely. All it's right. A lot of fun. Carl, thanks so much. You're always <laughs> sure. surprising me. That's today's Imagine It. Now let's go to Dave with Sports.